Yes, sir. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming, man. First of all, welcome to LA. You're a new LA resident. Yep, yep. Very new. What, Very fresh. Obviously, you have uh, you've been in Illinois. Mm-hmm. Um, what motivated you to finally kind of make the jump to the big times and come over here and pay all this tax money? Yeah, you know, <laughs> hey, I'm buckling up for my first uh, my first little tax return out here, but. Um, not really a turn because you don't get nothing back. Right, but right, right. You, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Um, but honestly, it, it was mainly two things. A, you know, the content. I already yeah. come out here. You know, I was traveling out here so much to hang out with my friends, do mm-hmm. podcasts, you know, do that kind of stuff. Um, but the kind of stuff I do, you know, make videos, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Um, it's like a no brainer to get out here because the Illinois weed market, I don't know if you know a ton about it, brutal. Is it brutal in it's, terms of legalities or just. So it's legal. But they have, at least in my opinion, one of the worst programs in the state. They um, they campaigned it on like all this social equity and like, oh, we're gonna you know give you know low income and people who've been impacted by cannabis laws the licenses. F- the first opportunity to see. Yeah, 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 the first chance. Okay, okay. And what it ended up being was you know the the cost to apply alone was like two hundred fifty thousand dollars, even if you got denied. So immediately, so you had to. Come up with two hundred fifty grand just to quarter apply. mil cash just to apply, and then right? if they say no, you're so, you're out yeah. of two fifty. Yeah. So oh. immediately, the the ninety nine point nine percent of people that were supposed to benefit from it don't qualify. They're, right. Yeah. They're yeah yeah. yeah. And the point oh one percent that do qualify got investors for it. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. So the market out there is just a bunch of like the big companies that came out from the East Coast and you know all the corporations and just put a bunch of on the shelf. So and then the taxes. The taxes are crazy. Yeah. yeah. I don't even like. Um, I guess being in LA, I don't really go to dispensaries. Yeah, yeah, it's different. You I guess I'm ki- I kind of like I get a bunch of free, which mm-hmm. you do, I'm sure. Yep, yep. So it's like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you shout know, out to the uh, folks paying. Te- and listen, shout out to the dispensaries. I heard it is a extremely like the like to be in Cali and be on that side of the business. I heard it's very tough. Tough. Yeah, because the black market is still where all the money is. Yeah. As a matter of fact, a lot of these guys are doing both. Yeah. As they yeah. should be. Oh, they're all backdooring. They 99% have to. They of them have are backdooring, be. dude. I mean, I, you know, it's funny because doing what I do and going to all these events and yeah. like networking and stuff, you, you shake hands with these people and, you know, you, you only know them prior to that from the dispensary shelf. Mm-hmm. And you think like, oh, these guys are super legit. They're f- serving packs right there to Everybody anybody, you know? Doing. It doesn't, they're all doing it. The it doesn't biggest matter. brands you can think of. Shake a dude's hand, get him on Instagram, all of a sudden you got a telegram, mm-hmm. get whatever the you want you know yeah the saying? telegram is crazy it's nuts it's nuts but what? yeah um do so they don't have sessions and shit out there oh no i mean they have like some kind of they're either super corporate okay. or they're super low-key and, and not, like super sketch. yeah super scuffed you know in the neighborhood parking like empty your car take the cups out type shit, you know so there's there's no real room for like the market to grow there just right. because the laws and the black market they got some contenders you know yeah. there's brands like capone's garden putting out some fire out there but that's like the only one that comes to mind sadly, that's interesting you know? so when you go to like because for people who don't know in la there's i mean probably once a week you could find a dope beat event to go to for sure like twice a month oh yeah and there's yep. these giant seshes where you know they're i don't know how legal or illegal they are but the cops don't give a because they're out no front. So you could walk through and buy packs. You could buy. Mm-hmm. Um, the last time I went to a sesh, I got uh, this spray. <laughs> oh, I've seen that it going comes, around. It almost comes like it looks like a little bottle of mace, almost. Yeah, like banaca, almost. When I went to the um, Puffco, just recently launched a new uh, like a new device or whatever. Yeah, and I went to their event, and there was some dude going around. I'm not going to name the guy, but there was some dude going around just offering people sprays. Like, yo, you want a little, little spray? Where'd that shit even come from? I don't know, but I, it's not bad. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's not light. It's super light. I haven't tried them, but you know, I haven't done I acid in a couple of years. You know, I, I switched to the shrooms now. But, right. Um, if I was still into the acid, I'd be abusing. Them. Are you going to the? Isn't Puffco Fest coming next? Puffcon. Puffcon. Isn't that coming with like Action Bronson and? Yeah, they got a bunch of people. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going. I mean, I haven't. Feels like the kind of thing you should be at. Yeah, I mean, I haven't like booked a ticket yet, but I mean, Puffco, they're the homies. You know, they always you know hit me up. They're like, yeah, they got a bunch of cool devices. Yeah, yeah, they're dope. Yeah, they're dope. 